those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. After leaving Wilderness State Park in Mackinac City, we headed north to Tiki RV Park and Campground in St. Ignace, Michigan. This adventure took us north on I-75 across the Mackinac Bridge. Joe was driving and had to drive 20 miles per hour across the entire bridge because there was high winds. We felt the wind, but it was not uncomfortable. It was Labor Day weekend and there was a lot of traffic heading north across the bridge. We were pulling our car and it cost us $14 for the toll. It was a beautiful day and the water was a beautiful blue color. Some interesting facts about the bridge is that it's a suspension bridge that opened in 1957. According to the Mackinac Bridge Authority website, it's five miles long and connects the lower portion of Michigan to the upper peninsula of Michigan. The height of the main tower of the bridge is 552 feet and there are 42,000 miles of cable. We arrived in the upper peninsula and Tiki campground. We chose this campground because we wanted to have full hookups. We had been traveling since mid-June and we felt like we needed to do some deep cleaning of the RV. As I mentioned earlier, it was Labor Day weekend and we decided to wait to visit Mackinac Island until after the holiday. I would love to hear how you maintain the outside of your RV while on the road full time. We're thinking with it, we're going to probably do this about every two months. At this campground, they ask that you not wash RVs, but I have two buckets of water. One has soap in it, one has clean water in it. So I soap it down, just, and then I use the same brush and I wipe it down with clear water. And it seems to do pretty good. I mean, the top has to kind of dry on its own. The bottom where I can reach, I dry with a rag. That I just washed. <laughs> what are you doing on Labor Day weekend, Rhonda? I'm laboring. <laughs> we uh, picked this park because we had full hookups so we could clean up the RV. So I had this cool way of washing it now with two buckets. Gee, so they're dirty. To, yeah, it's dirty. <laughs> so I have so, to. Uh, everybody else is here doing fun stuff for the holiday yeah. weekend, but. I washed clothes this morning. Yep. Uh, we've just been cleaning up. Cleaning up. We have these black streaks on the RV. One of these days we'll get up there and do the roof, but that's a, yeah, I don't have to see that, so I'm okay. Anyway, Tiki Tiki Campground and R in RV Park. Full hookups. We cleaned the uh, black tank. Cleaned the gray tank. Flushed them twice, hopefully. Well, we did the best we could. It's kind of a resort town, St. Ignace, but uh, we are just a couple blocks away from Lake Michigan. While Joe was washing clothes, he strolled the St. Ignace historic walking tour on Lake Huron. Hi, everybody. Um, we're getting um, ready to update our map today. Um, we got a little behind. Back in March, um, did two states that we haven't filled in, North Carolina and Tennessee, when we were going up for our holiday visit and our anniversary, we did the state and then we were coming back down in March, COVID hit, so we got a little bit behind. So these two states we've been to, North Carolina and Tennessee. Oh yeah, and we sold Okay, here's North Carolina. That fills in a good block. Okay, and then Tennessee was the other one we did at that. Gee. So the other thing Joe mentioned too, we did sell our house in between, and so we got a little bit behind because we had all those details to take care of. So Tennessee, so we're filling this in nicely. So after we sold our house and got organized and hit the road full time, we actually have hit Kentucky. Ohio and Michigan. We spent a lot of time here in Michigan, so this has been really fun. Okay. Here's Kentucky. big state, Michigan. 
We have spent really the last month here in Michigan. At least several weeks. Yeah, and we're still here. We're very excited about this. We're going to stay at least four more days. Yeah, we're really up here in this um, upper peninsula. It's really cool up here in the fall. Well, we sure got to get West Virginia. <laughs> yes, we do. We'll get that as we come down and maybe go yeah. across. We're going to head over to New Jersey, so uh, we'll see what happens. And we were just on the and maybe looking at the Thor Axis Facebook group and somebody is in Maryland at an island state park that has wild horses. So yeah. that seems like a good one. Yeah, but those little ones you can't even see. You can't even see. Yeah. Okay. We gotta get to Rhode Island. Oh my gosh, we got a lot to do. We gotta go. <laughs> we're moving on. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.